Hey guys, it's Daniel from Legend Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about the Battlefield 1 Turning Ties DLC. It was revealed about last week that this is going to be the third expansion pack in Battlefield 1 after They Shall Not Pass and In the Name of the Tsar. And this one's going to be the naval DLC for the game. So basically, it's going to have a ton of naval combat similar to Naval Strike from Battlefield 4. And I'm honestly super hyped for this DLC because Naval Strike was probably my favorite DLC in Battlefield 4 just because of all the freaking insane naval combat in that game. Now the description of this is participate in the amphibious warfare for World War 1 and engage in the Daredevil Zebrugi raid and the Gallipoli offensive and more. Um, so the Gallipoli offensive was a, the New Zealand invasion of the Gallipoli Peninsula in Turkey by the Allied forces in order to gain strategic territory. It took place primarily along the peninsula itself, the Gallipoli Peninsula, and it was mostly a naval attack followed by an amphibious landing. So we're gonna have some naval combat and then an amphibious landing, uh, especially if there's an operation on that map. That could be super sick. I'd also like to see a carrier assault game mode in this game, where basically you have a game of conquest and for each flag you earn, you basically get artillery strikes against the enemy's battleship. And then once you breach the enemy's battleship, you actually have to board it and basically destroy MCOMs on it. To be super sick if we were able to fight inside battleships. I would just be super hyped if we were able to do that in this DLC. Um, now the Zebrugi raid, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, is located in Belgium. So we're probably going to see the Belgian army um, and the New Zealand army um, in this DLC. Uh, Britain used a, an attack, a tactic where they intentionally su uh, sunk their useless ships to form a blockade in the canal. Um, this was to prevent German ships from being able to um, attack the sea or attack the land from the sea. And even though Britain lost 538 men and the Germans lost 24, and Britain lost many ships, it was publicized as a success because this new strategy kind of worked. I mean, some of the ships uh, were sunk at the wrong places and wind came into effect, but Britain just wanted to kind of publicize it as a victory for themselves. Now, what's interesting about the Zebrugi raid is if you look at images of it, it looks a lot like the concept image. So basically, in this, in this um, image of the actual raid, you can see that there's a lighthouse, there's a ferry boat and a hundred armed soldiers. There's a uh, ferry boat HMS Daffodil, um, and there's a ton of ships. And then there's a submarine um, a while back. And you can kind of just see in this image uh, what ships are blocking stuff, where the actual mole blockade is, the submarine shelter, and where the land is. So I'm pretty sure that this image is from the Zebrugi raid and the map we're going to see from it. And the stormy conditions match the actual conditions during the battle and it looks super sick. So just kind of interesting to see that we can pretty much immediately find an image that matches it. So it shows that they're staying relatively accurate to the history of this battle. Now that's pretty much it. That's all we know from this DLC. Um, the things I'd like to see most is new ships. Submarine combat would be super sick because a while back I talked about how there were submarine found submarines found within the game files, but they never actually came to the base game. So that might have meant that they were developing them for the DLC as early as the alpha, which would have been kind of crazy, but I'd still like to see actual submarine combat in this game. Um, carrier assault, which I talked about earlier, uh, would be super sick. And we're probably gonna see a seaplane too, which would be awesome as well. Um, we're gonna get the standard five new weapons. Um, there's gonna be four maps in this DLC. That stuff comes pretty standard now with Battlefield. DLCs. But again, don't forget to drop a like down below. Tell me what you think about the Turning Tides DLC. What what do you think will come from this DLC? Do you think you're going to buy it? Uh, don't forget to check out my giveaway for They Shall Not Pass so you don't have to buy that DLC. But that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.